hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September 13th, or sorry, not September, I'm thinking Virgo, September, no, it's November 13th through to the 19th. I went ahead, shuffled the cars, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Eight of Swords reversed, followed then by Major Arcana, the Sun in the upright. Next, we have the Five of Cups reversed, followed then by the Eight of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Chariot. So, pretty nice cards here for you, Virgo, this week. Your overall energy is the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Well, I do like the reverse energy of this card when it's in the upright position this can point to where we are feeling very trapped sometimes it can be trapped in um, a hell of our own mind i don't know how else to put it but in the upright position this is where we feel like we have so many thoughts ruminating around our head over and over and over again that we feel like there's no way out when the card is reversed i always say we found the release we found the release there, there's a like in the upright position if she takes the the blinders off the blinder <laughs> she's not a horse <laughs> she takes the blindfold off and releases herself i mean there's big gaps right she could free herself at any point but she is um she is sort of gagged no she's not gagged she's just <laughs> bound <laughs> uh, with a, you know a lot of um, again it's the energy I know I'm just rambling right now but it's been a long week give me a break the energy of being like really uh, you know suppressed or held down or sometimes this can be where we are literally stuck in a situation that we cannot you know free ourselves from but oftentimes we put ourselves in this sort of mental prison where we can release ourselves from it but maybe we're just not ready or we don't know how but when the card is reversed this is where we finally found find our escape route we find that hatch and release ourselves from either for some of you overthinking a situation or over worrying about something or it could be that we actually uh, find an escape route. You know, maybe we were feeling trapped in a relationship or feeling trapped in a, a career or feeling trapped in a job or something like that. And we're like, I need to find my escape route. Uh, or it, it could be, there's many things that sometimes we find ourselves, you know, inadvertently trapped in. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is like, you know, being released from prison. So... There's something going on here this week that's going to bring you this big relief. It's like, finally, either the trapment of your own mind or whether it's a, a literal entrapment where you got yourself into a situation or somebody else got you into a situation where you feel like, where's my escape route? How do I get out of this? Looks like you will find your escape route this week. Right at the beginning of the week, you have the beautiful sun. This is Leo energy. The sun in the upright position is gorgeous. We always welcome this energy in a reading. And you have it, Virgo, right at the beginning of the week for you. This is where we feel alive, where the vitality has returned. Especially if you've been going through a time of feeling really blue or you've been feeling really um, ill. Sometimes this can come up after we've been sick and then we finally, you know, feel well again. It's that feeling of the sun on your face after a long period of gloominess, you know. So it's a beautiful feeling. It also represents success and attainment for any of you who are going after something that you've been working at very hard. This could be like you finally get that, uh, that promotion or you get that recognition or what have you beautiful beautiful energy <laughs> really nice and it happens right at the beginning of the week for you moving on we have the five of cups in the reverse position five of cups upright this is this uh points to sadness sorrow um it can be anything it's loss usually associated with this card the energy is associated with when it's in the upright this is someone who's sort of in the middle of something that is going on and it's really sad and it's really hard to deal with on the emotional front 
But when the card is reversed, this is where we finally see the two cups full of promise behind us. So it looks like maybe you've had a hard time, Virgo, but the sun coming up here and bringing that high vitality and that wonderfulness to you is helping you to heal from a situation where there was sadness, disappointment, and a loss connected to it. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. This is the Worker Bee card. Not surprised. You and Capricorn tend to get the, uh, the you know, this type of energy around you a lot because, I mean, you guys are the workers of the Zodiac. You put your nose to the grindstone. You stay focused and you know how to build upon uh, prior successes. So this is just more of that. It looks like you've, uh, maybe some of you have, are in the running for a promotion or you have just gotten promoted and you're just sort of doing the notes of the grindstone thing. This is something that has worked for many years and you're just, you know, continuing on to push forward. Beautiful, focused, concentrated energy, and it will lead you right to the beautiful chariot at the end of the week. The chariot cancer energy represents movement. Um, it could be physical movement sometimes. Well, it is weekend energy. Maybe some of you are taking a trip. You could be going somewhere. You could be... Um, traveling if you are traveling it looks like it will be smooth sailing because this card in the upright that represents no interruptions moving forward with your travel um, others of you could be purchasing a vehicle or looking at um, you know some kind of vehicle purchase and then taking a trip maybe some of you want to purchase a new car or even rent a vehicle or something to go take a trip um, it's also forward movement really quickly, very black and white energy. This is like you either do or you don't. It's very fast moving energy. So you, if you decide to take a chance for go and move forward on something, it looks like success will be waiting for you because that's the energy of the chariot. This is why we move so quickly towards something because we kind of almost know that uh, success is on the other side of this. And especially you've been working so hard and diligently, uh, Virgo, you deserve this success. So just move right into it. It's beautiful. Very fast moving, though, like I had mentioned a few times already. Just don't steamroll over somebody's toes. Um, yeah, represents uh, success and victory and all the good stuff moving forward. So lots of yellow here. Your confidence could be s extremely strong this week, and it should be, because it lo it shows that, you know, you're working really hard. You're overcoming emotional difficulties of the past, and you're moving forward with this uh, chariot exercise. Or exercise. Why did I say exercise? Maybe some of you are exercising uh, come the weekend, and, and maybe you're running a marathon or doing something like that. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's victory for you. And um, beautiful, beautiful movement forward. Could be traveling, uh, weekend energy. Could be going away on a weekend trip, uh, taking a road trip. Or you could be going away um, to visit family or friends, maybe for a week. Could be vacation, what have you. So let us know in the comment section below. Is this resonating for you? And do tell us how so. So thank you so much for joining me, um, Virgo. I hope you have a fantastic week. It looks like a pretty good one, especially with the sun starting off your week. So that's what I have for you. Take care. Much love. Namaste. I hope that really helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.